Imagine a city building and transport game, but AI controls half the map and is building an army to fight you. That's right, we're playing war in Transport Fever 2. So Transport Fever 2 is a city building game a little bit like City Skylines. And as always, I've modded the hell out of it. If you haven't played before, check it out, there's a pinned comment. The rules are simple. Build an efficient transport system in time for the impending attacks on your cities. You know I like a challenge, so let's get started. The year is 1914, Berlin. A man approaches you at your desk job at the railway station. Are you the manager here? And shortly after, just like that, you are now in charge of Germany's military transport. The man turns and walks away with one final word, prepare. All right, so now we're in charge. We need to establish connections and get the money rolling in before we can invest into huge industries and massive train yards. You don't want to miss the rest of this series, guys. It's going to get crazy and stick around to the end of this video and you can find out how you can vote for what happens next in the series. So let's start off then. As you can see down here, we have a military base with plenty of new recruits ready to go, but they've not got anywhere to go yet. You'll also notice every city has a border. Now the green borders are our land. We control this area with our political ideas. Now over here you can see there's some red areas like Odessa. And over here in Odessa, it looks like Odessa is attacking Kluge? Kluge? How do you pronounce that? Not sure. Anyway, attacking a little bit of our land. So we're probably gonna lose this city to Odessa because Odessa is attacking and there's no defenses. So what we need to do is we need to establish a front line down this border just here. And to do that, we're gonna need some weapons and we're going to need some soldiers. So we need to build an effective transport network to transport these things. So first of all, we're gonna bring some iron and we're gonna bring some coal over to this steel mill over here and we can start making some products. Perfect, we've now got that aligning. We can start bringing some vehicles over. Let me just introduce a very slight rule. Only capital cities are allowed to have depots. Now that's out of the way, let's get a depot down in Berlin. And we'll grab some vehicles as well. I think we're going to go for the Benz tarpaulin truck just because it's got a, a good amount of capacity and it carries what we want. So I do believe we don't have that much money. Only 3 million. So we can't get that too many. Let's go for a good 7. And then we can put that onto iron. And then we'll get another 7 of those. And we can maybe just upgrade it a little bit later. Just because that is a lot of money. We've nearly just spent pretty much half our funds there. So we've got to play it safe. Anyway, they're going to go off now. They're going to bring us some good resources. And in a minute, we can start using this steel to make other products. And while that's happening, let's get some public transport on the go. Let's check out our map. So it's a bit of a mess, isn't it, Berlin? There's a lot of just random stuff everywhere. Uh, so I'm kind of going to have to do a little bit of city training here, which is not ideal when I've not got this much money. And that's from there to there to there. Okie dokie. And now that route's in, we'll grab some vehicles. We need a little bus for this line, I think. Probably the best option is going to be the post bus or maybe the Mac. Let's see, 25 kilometers an hour on the post bus holds air eight. It's a little bit low uh, and holds 15 with 25. So that's probably going to be the one. It's barely any more expensive and it holds nearly double. We'll chuck that one onto the shuttle line. That's really good, the Mac. Lovely looking vehicle. Okay, lovely. Every city surrounding Berlin has now got public transport routes. All that's left to do is add some vehicles. That's lovely. We're now making some good money out of that as well. 100k earnings recently. Nice. And our steel factory is now producing some good stuff. We can use this steel now to produce some munitions. So we need to establish a main line over to Odessa because this is where the battle's currently at. We can also redirect these resources over to Cologne if Paris intends to attack us. We're at peace with Paris for the time being. We're all right for now. So we don't need to do that just yet. Now I'm thinking if we do a nice diagonal straight through there, obviously avoiding this mountain, so just maybe slightly around there and then straight up there, we can then use this line later on to become a main line that would connect to Budapest and Vienna. Fantastic. But before that, we need a little bit more money. So I'm going to connect up these cities with an intercity bus as well. By the way, I'm naming things IC bus, which stands for intercity. And the shuttles are called shuttles, even though they're not shuttles just yet, because eventually they are going to connect to the train stations once they're in. We've got to get main lines and stuff sorted, and we'll get to that in just a sec. This one's pretty good. 40 kilometers an hour and holds 31. I think that's pretty good. Let's get four of these guys. That's perfect. Lovely. Well, we're making some good money here. Fantastic. Okay, and then now we can begin our railway construction. Now let's have a look at the hills here. Where are we? Which one is it? That one there. So it's a little bit rough, the terrain. So we were going to have to go around here past the steel mill, which is fine because we can reuse this at some point anyway to carry steel. And then we'll go up there past Vienna and we'll go around to Budapest. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Lovely stuff, lovely jubbly. Now we need to bring this track out around here and that's going to go across this road. We'll also have one going the other way as well at some point down there. Uh, we could just split off that track, that's fine. 
So this is going to go behind these steelworks. I don't have enough money, so take a little bit of a loan out. Luckily, I paid a million back earlier, so we've got that available without too much of an incursion. Let's just work with the terrain a little bit here. We're going to just weave our way around these little hills. I'm just going to add a quick station over in Vienna as well. And we can use the tracks to go through Vienna. And it just saves a little bit of money on maintenance on the actual track. Because then we don't have to pay for more track than we actually need when we can just send the train through at the train station. It's obviously not the best for missions, but I don't really care at this point because as long as it's uh, as long as it's decently efficient, it doesn't really matter what people of the city think. Look at that cute little bridge just gone in as well. Amazing. It looks like Pludge has been captured by the enemy. Oh no, we gotta fix this. Let's get that construction underway, shall we? Buildings. We need a cargo building, please. One track, 120 meters. Spin it a bit. Stick it in there. Off to Vienna you go mate. Boom, track is complete. Okay, it's depot time. I'm thinking probably here's a good spot for the depot. So let's see what we can do. Okay, that's pretty good. I like that. So we can now buy a train. i right, make a line first. And then now that should work perfectly. Amazing. It's going to be Burr to Vienna. And uh, this is going to be an intercity train. And now it's train time. We haven't got the most money in the world. But we should be okay if we get a cheap train. So we can go with the BR-89 or the BR-53. They're pretty much the same thing, to be honest. Uh, this one is probably the one I'm going to go for. It's slightly cheaper to maintain. Uh, and it's basically the same amount of power. It's so not too much of a big deal. And when we need a carriage that goes 50 kilometers an hour as well. So what goes 50? You go 50, you go 50, you go 50, you go 60. I think we're going into higher territory now. We are. Okay, in that case, we'll get this one here, which is the Bavarian passenger car. Uh, which holds 14. Yeah, it's a pretty train. It's a pretty train. The first arrival, is it going to make any money? Probably not, no. Didn't expect it to, to be fair. It's the first trip. But we're making decent money back from our other business ventures. Not too bad, so we should be able to make it back pretty quickly. There we go, didn't take long. It's already making profit on its second trip. Amazing. It looks like our bus into cities are getting quite busy as well, so we'll get another bus on all of those, I think. Look how busy it is over here. Crikey. All right, now we're getting some money. I've paid all my debts off. No problems, no loan whatsoever. We can actually start doing some war stuff. And let me just do a disclaimer for the YouTube gods. This is a video game, not a real war. Awesome. <laughs> you see, I was going to go and invade Kludge and take it over again. But uh, there's actually been a development. Strasbourg is under attack. Uh, now, I'm not a big fan of that because Strasbourg's got some iron in it. And iron's a very useful resource. So we're probably going to switch goals. So I think the objective is to defend Strasbourg and use this mountain pass as a defensive point. I think that's a pretty good idea. Let's give it a go. The first thing that's needed is probably going to be a train station. So we'll go to a train station. We'll grab a passenger station and this is going to go a long way. This is a long ass track and then we'll later on down the line, get my pun, haha, <laughs> comedy. Um, later on down the line we can uh, we can then use this track as a main line. We can connect all the other cities in the area. For now, I just need to get trains over here ASAP to defend. So we'll go from Berlin. Uh, is, there a, um, is there a weapons factory? There is, there's one there in Cologne. That's good. So we can use that and we can have a little, oh, okay, I've got a plan in my head. I've got a plan formulated. Head down to Cologne and then, then to Str uh, Strasbourg is probably the better way of doing it. Because then you can come off the track and you can then uh, use a little branch line that can transport the resources we need. The enemy's just captured Strasbourg, no. That's annoying. We're going to have to go and attack them now. Didn't want to have to do that. So this is going to be our little branch line that's going to come off. Although we are going to have to double track it, I think, because we are going to use a lot of trains through this area. We can start off with single track just to start off with, I guess. So we need to connect this military base up to the train station. To do that, we're going to need a entrance, which is pretty basic. We just need to put that there and that's done. OK, and then now we can set a train on this track here which will then pick up soldiers. Let's get these tracks over to the border currently, and then we can use a station to drop off the troops. Um, might as well make it a part of the main line because we're going to transport more than one thing down here. So if we go for a terminus, it's not ideal to do it this way, but it works, so I'm not going to complain too much. That's looking pretty good to me. Okay, so the soldiers, if we get a new line now, we can then take these military base soldiers through the cargo section of this station. Uh, we can go all the way down here and drop that off there. That's lovely. So this is going to be uh, Burr, Sol, to uh, Battle. Okay, and that's going to be a green colour. The first green of the series. 
for military. Okay, we'll get a quick train running down there. But before we get a train running down there, we need some guns to give to the soldiers. Pretty easy deal. We've got a steel factory, of course. We can use these pieces of steel. We can turn these into weapons. Uh, plug that in there. That's going to go down there a little bit. Uh, not the best terrain ever, but it's fine. I'd probably want to go through there, to be honest. It's be quicker. A bit more expensive, but what can you do? That's going to then go into that track. And then now we get a new line that goes from that station all the way to that. That's going to drop off there. That's the steel to weapons done. And the soldiers route done. Make this a nice green. And we'll call this one steel to wet one. Okay, new trains on the route. I've got a Prius that does the steel run. And over here, I've got a PLM somewhere. Here it is for the soldiers. We've already had a few soldiers boarding. Look at this beautiful train. Emerald of our empire right here, the PLM. Speedy, speedy steam line train with the fanciest of carriages that I could actually afford for our amazing troops that are going to hopefully win. Okay, plenty of troops getting on board. We should be good. Uh, we've got... 46 that's decent it could be better though and then this business we've got to transport these weapons over to the battleground make that full make this military colored and this is going to be called web to battle one it's going to have a long drive to get there but let's grab a vehicle from berlin this is going to pick up weapons so probably going to be the tarpaulin truck that's going to carry this isn't it i'm going to say let's grab four of these uh five five we'll grab five and that's going to go on to, well, to battle. Fantastic. We'll back out of debt as I pull in to the battleground with the troops. How many troops have we got on the battlefront? Let's have a look. We've got 102 soldiers, not a single gun so far, which is not great. <laughs> not, not fantastic. If they launch an attack, they're, uh, they're going to get massacred. Ah, finally, some weapons. Amazing. And it looks like in the far distance there, the trucks are on their way. We're speeding down the road to the battleground. Out of the way cars. This is official military business. Go on, drop them off. Go, 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 go. Weapons delivered. All right, nice. So we got 26 guns on the battlegrounds. 187 soldiers to share them. We need to get some more of these, clearly. But we actually have armed people on site now. We need to get this production high enough and we'll send our troops in to attack. And then we can claim the area back to our control. And you know what might be a pro gaming move next video? If we reuse this train to pick up the munitions and carry it over here, that might be an idea. But we'll, we'll think about that later once we've won this battle. Production's booming, fantastic. Let's get some more vehicles on here. We'll go for three more. We're okay for soldiers. It's just steel we need, really. So let's have a look. All right, I'll steal this coal and see if this helps. And boom, we've got another steel train coming in. Oh, here comes 50 more soldiers. That's exactly what we need right now with zero ammo. <laughs> And another steel to weapons is just going on the route now. We're getting stuff going. Stuff is being made. Got this thing to level two and it's upgrading. Brilliant. We're winning. We're winning the fight. 84%. Okay, keep the ammo rolling. Let's get going. I really want to win this. Hey. Oh, I'm being attacked. But still. Hey. Where are we, Strasbourg? Strasbourg has been captured. Oh, that's, that's such a relief to get that sorted. I'm very glad. But I think that's a great start. We managed to defend our land pretty much aside from one tile, but we'll claim that back next time. Big shout out to Matt, the creator of this mod. And here's the fun bit. You head over to my community section on my channel and you can vote what happens next. Do you want to invade or do you want to defend? Vote now and I'll see you in episode two. Thanks for watching. Everybody get up.